So <clears throat> another useful uh, graph um, to compare machine learning models is the Taylor diagram. And here in this paper, uh, the authors published uh, four different uh, Taylor diagrams for uh, four different input variables. So um, here, for example, in this one, cement content is predicting um, a concrete st uh, strength, strength of the concrete. And they have uh, here, you can see four different models that they're comparing. So in the Taylor diagram, you have the standard deviation um, uh, measure on this uh, axis. <clears throat> and then you just have the you know, radial lines connecting them. Um, and then you just plot uh, your points, you know, depending on where the standard deviation is. Um, correlation is on this uh, axis. So let's say for SVR, and the, the standard deviation of the predicted points is um, 9. So then you go 9, uh, and then you can see that the SVR lies on this uh, point. And then let's say the correlation of SVR points uh, is 0.75. So 7.5 is right here. So 7.5 and 9 would be right here. So 9, 7.5. And so then you have all, all these models um, compared to the measured. Measured clearly has the uh, correlation coefficient of 1. So it lies on this uh, line of 1. And this is the line 0 correlation coefficient. And um, this uh, uh, correlation of co uh, correlation is between, goes by this formula. Let's find it. Yeah, it's a really long formula, but it's pretty, it goes from negative 1 to 1. It's um, somewhat similar to R squared. Um, so that's the coefficient of correlation. And it's uh, between, you know, the absorbed and measured. Um, so we can see that uh, correlation the coefficient um, is best uh, for, uh, in, this, in this particular case, for M5 tree. Um, uh, but ELM has the closest variance between the points. So if you look at the variance between the measured five points, which is the five testing points, um, it's this line, and you can see that ELM is closest to it. ELM usually is closest to it uh, with like things like SVR going way out of line. You know, like right here is like, you know, it's like nine versus six. You know, not not so close. Big outlier. And here ELM is really close to this line in a standard deviation. Um, and then here, for example, for water binders input, ELM is also the highest correlation, or basically the best predictor. So you can see that ELM, extreme, which is extreme learning machine uh, based on neural network, uh, single layer neural network, uh, is the best model here for predicting concrete strength. Um, other models are, you know, some are sometimes better, some, some are sometimes worse. Uh, like um, here, they're they're similar, but sometimes they they have a big outlier. Here, LM is like 0.99, and then this one SVR is somewhere closer to 0.9. Um, 